Hi, I'm Matt Bissonette, and this is the Extraordinary Everyday Leadership Podcast. The other day, I was talking to a new leader, and they asked if there was a preferred leadership style. The truth is, everyone has a preferred leadership style, but not all situations are best served by the same leadership style. This first became clear to me when I was in college working for a sporting goods store. There were two of us employees that worked in the same shift. We had different styles in how we tried to do our sales, how we approached our customers. The one employee, sales driven, he was out there. He was going after the numbers. They were motivated by sales numbers. Our manager knew this and would challenge them on how many add-ons they got with each sale. In my case, the manager recognized that my style was different. I was more of me providing a service to people coming in rather than being focused on sales. So the manager used a different approach for me. He would encourage me with my efforts to get the add-ons that I did get instead of a challenge. And then they would offer suggestions on how to get more on the next sale. One approach was a challenging approach. The other was a motivating approach. Both are valid, just different depending on the person. Understanding the setting that you're working in makes a difference. Understanding your team and how they're wired also matters. A number of years ago, Dr. Paul Herze created a model called the situational leader. It's really about shifting in your approach when you need to based on the situation. It works on an X, Y axis with a vertical line having increasing relationship behavior and the horizontal line having increasing task behavior. This can be divided into four quadrants, each with a description of the type of leadership needed. For example, if you have something that needs to get done, task-oriented, and you're less concerned about the relationships, this is high task, low relationship. This is called telling. You're telling someone what to do. Let's just get it done. If you have something that is high task and high relationship, this is called selling. You need to get it done, but you're selling the employee on the need to get it done. The relationship here matters. Likewise, if the item to be done is high relationship and low task, this is participating. You want it done, but you want the employee to go with you on this process. Lastly, if the item is low relationship and low task, this is simply delegating. You can't really live in any one of these all the time. You may have a go-to style, but situationally, you need to shift based on the demand. What needs to be done and how important is it to preserve the relationship with your employee. So today, think about what your go-to style is when things are going great. How about when things go bad? Do you shift? Is it a positive shift for your employees or your team? The best leadership style is the type that is able to get stuff done and retain goodwill with employees. Being able to shift how to engage people will greatly benefit you as a leader. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of the Extraordinary Everyday Leadership Podcast. Have a great day and keep growing forward.